What do the city of Houston and Perth, Australia have in common? And why is it so important that we never forget? Hey, I'm Bailey Neal and welcome to This Forgotten Day in Houston, presented by Greenwood King Properties, a place to find your home. In this episode, we're remembering that Memorial Day has always meant so much more than the end of a three-day weekend, the unofficial beginning of summer, or a great sale on a color television at Foley's. In this episode, we'll show you a few places around Houston that honor the men and women who've made the ultimate sacrifice for their country. The first place we recommend visiting this Memorial Day weekend is a permanent exhibition located on the second floor of the University of Houston MD Anderson Library. This display tells the story of the USS Houston. In 1942, the USS Houston and the Australian cruiser HMAS Perth, both of which were named for those cities, came under heavy attack by the Imperial Japanese Navy during the Battle of Sunda Strait. Both vessels sank and each lost over half their crew. Of the 1,068 crew aboard the USS Houston, 368 survived and were taken prisoner by the Japanese. 79 of those POWs would later die as a result of the deplorable camp conditions. The exhibition at the U of H honors those aboard the USS Houston in late February of 1942 and features vintage photographs, a detailed model of the ship, and original letters and artifacts from the ship's crew members. Though the library is closed for Memorial Day, you can still visit the exhibition on Saturday and Sunday. Additionally, a USS Houston memorial can be found in Sam Houston Park. In 2012, USS Houston survivors David Flynn and Howard Brooks took part in the 70th anniversary of the warship's final battle. Two more places to visit this Memorial Day include the World War I monument located adjacent to Sam Houston Park in the plaza behind the Heritage Society building. You could also take a stroll in Heights Boulevard Park alongside the World War II Memorial. There, you'll find a tribute to Heights High School graduate Army Air Force Lieutenant Raymond L. Knight, who was posthumously awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor for his heroic service and self-sacrifice during World War II. Greenwood King knows Houston history and the nuances of each neighborhood. If you're looking for a place to find your home, visit one of their three convenient office locations in the Houston area. You can also go to greenwoodking.com where you'll discover the exciting possibilities waiting for you in your new community. I'm Bailey Neal. Thanks for watching.